Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing Comic Uno's top 10 Kickstarters of the month, and I have plenty of Kickstarters to talk about, but before that, I want to talk about my own bi visibility, a bisexual anthology. There's only about a day or two to back up the, the Kickstarter, so hopefully you guys could go support that. It's exactly what the title says. It's a graphic novel all about bisexualities, ranging from different genres. I also do Kickstarter consulting, so if you're looking to up your game uh, from a PR angle for your campaign, uh, let me know and uh, hopefully we can work together now moving into our top 10 here now I do have a couple honorable mentions because I have a, a couple of friends who do have Kickstarters going on right now and first is American Dreams so this is a collection of the superhero book uh, based in the, the 1900s uh, New York and it's about uh, a character who, who gets powers from a Thomas Edison experiment that goes wrong. Um, really interesting twist on the superhero genre. It's cool to see a Jewish lead as well. So definitely go check that one out. Next up is the trade for Red Knight. So it's actually another superhero book, another collection for a superhero book. This one's definitely been published for uh, honestly a good amount of years now. So you're getting a lot of story here. And one of my favorite parts about Red Knight is just how, you know, the comic keeps trying to up its game. The book got colored a couple of years ago, and now you you have it in a collection. And and I what another thing I really like is how the author uses his place that he he lives, and it's not your 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 New Yorks or your your Californias or um you know that's or your Gotham's or Metropolis. It, it has to do with Nor Norfolk, uh, Virginia, so a place that you don't normally get to see superheroes. Moving on to another superhero book, which is. Super, issue one, so it's right there in the title, and this is one of my favorite superhero titles on on Kickstarter, really. The artwork is just so electrifying. This was actually one of the first indie, uh, self-published Kickstarter books I read um, way back in the day when the, the first issue came out. This is actually a remastered version of it. So if you wanna go check it out and also start reading this book from issue one, this is a great jumping on point. Now moving on to Glarian of White Ash. This book is doing tremendously well on Kickstarter. It doesn't need my shout out, but I'm going to give it a shout out. If you haven't heard of this, I don't know where you've been. It's it's such a great book and, and also just such a, a huge book for Kickstarter. White Ash is a, a great mix of fantasy and um, groundingness that I just love because I'm not actually a huge fantasy fan, but when you could ground fantasy and make it human, um, I, I really enjoyed that angle a little bit more. And now we're seeing a different side of that world with Glarian. So those are all my honorable mentions. So let's jump into our top 10. So number 10 for me is Unicorn Vampire Hunter, issue one through five. I love seeing ongoing books on Kickstarter. Seeing a book up to issue five, I think is such an awesome feat and something you don't get to see on Kickstarter very often. And uh, this just has a cool concept. It's a unicorn that fights vampires. It's literally in the title, fun art, cartoony, cool concept. Moving on to number nine is uh, The Dancer, a short comic. This is not my book, The Dancer. They call her Dancer. It's uh, a whole different genre where we get to see a uh, men like men story, more romance angle, slice of life of this dancer who falls in love with this guy who wants to be a jock. And I, I love that type of trope for a romance. The artwork looked cute. You know, I, I do like dance stories, so uh, it looked up my alley. Moving on to number eight, which is Tarmux Cthulhu Corporate Coffee Comic and Cup. This was a cool angle on Cthulhu. You know, we get to see a lot of Cthulhu on Kickstarter, comic book Kickstarter in general. So to A, have the angle of coffee, which, you know, I, I didn't see coming for the Cthulhu genre. And I was like, oh, that's super cool. And then, uh, you know, it's really cool. Every backer that they get, they actually plant a, a tree as well. So uh, giving back to... Um, you know, giving back to paper, which creates comics. So I, I thought that was a really cool kind of full circle thing they were doing there. So uh, number seven for me is another dance book. So that is Breaking Point, a sci-fi ballet comic. And this was just so, such a cool concept where, A, you don't really get to see a lot of male stories about ballet. It's usually a lot about women. So I was like, all right, cool angle already. And then it has to do with robots taking over and how this ballet dancer could save the world. I'm like, this is just a really cool concept. Um, I kind of like the mechanical artwork as well. Um, yeah, just enjoy the concept here. 
Moving on to number six, another book I believe that's been on my list before, and that is Steak Presents Jessamy, issue one through three. Steak is already a series. This is a spinoff of that series to continue the, the ongoing story. And I, again, I love that. I love that we can get to see books have a higher number on Kickstarter, but then also have books have spinoffs and, and get to tell the stories they want to tell. And the artwork is just so great. Kind of has this more chalky watercolor i would say to it and uh, i'm just blown away by by that and again just the the world building of steak moving on to number five which is an older series uh in in indie comics and as dabity bunny uh volumes one through two and this is actually scout comics itself making a kickstarter getting this trade or, or this collection um collected and, and made and uh you know i i love the idea that scout brings a lot of kickstarter books to the direct market so i find this to be very interesting that scouts using kickstarter to sell more uh graphic novels and and i just kind of love the idea of the direct marketing kickstarter working together and uh scouts been doing that for years already so moving on to number four which is the legend of la mariposa so hopefully i pronounced that right and this is also a series that's been going on for a while in Kickstarter. And it's an ensemble cast about uh, Spanish or, or Latino um, wrestling. So uh, I thought that was really cool uh, and, and an interesting concept. I love the cartooniness of, of the artwork as well. Um, wrestling is definitely a big part of comics. There's a lot of wrestling fans that enjoy comics. We've seen the WWE comics. So why not put a spin on that and also put an indie spin on that as well. So number three for me is Rhapsody a teen horror graphic novel and it's a musical horror. I'm like, whoa, that concept is really cool. Uh, so I just, I really like that. I'd never really seen a comic that really focuses on musical theater, high school musical theater. It just was so outside the box and the art artwork looked really cartoony and I just thought it was an interesting series. So uh, putting that as number three. Moving on to number two, which is Project Big Hype Volume 2. So, uh, you know, I'm just, amazed by the feat of this book. It's like over 300 pages. And, you know, as someone who's put anthologies together that are 44 pages or 90 something pages, and that's a huge feat to put together an anthology that is so big, so big hype, uh, it is crazy. And I, you know, I love the concept where you, where they're, uh, showcasing more manga style shoujo uh, storylines. Uh, so already that's a cool concept with on top of, again, just such a big project that, you should definitely back. So that is number two. Moving on to number one, which is the new Boom Studios Kickstarter, the complete irredeemable deluxe edition, library edition. And uh, once, uh, you know, I said this before with Scout Comics, I, I just love when we get to see the direct market use Kickstarter and, or, you know, companies that usually use the direct market uh, to use Kickstarter in a new way and bring new fans to Kickstarter. And, uh, you know, this is a great way to catch up on the book. I know they're, I think, relaunching the book. Mark Wade's returning the Boom Studios. And I've never read it irredeemable. So this is a great way to kind of jump in and see what the story is all about as they gear into this kind of new phase of irredeemable so hopefully you guys enjoyed this is comic uno let me know in the comments below what are your favorite kickstarters of the month and of course i'll be back next month for a whole new set of kickstarters thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye